welcome to Cracking the Cryptic. Um, after today's fireworks with Mark solving the Times crossword in under three minutes uh, on Monday, I thought we might go for something a bit more sedate today. So I'm going to live solve Tuesday's puzzle now and I'll, I'll talk through the puzzle real time. Uh, so this is going to be a longer video, uh, probably suitable for those of you who are newer to the Times crossword. Um, and Without further ado, let's let's do it. Now, sorry about my voice today, as you can hear, it's a bit croaky. So, father's put in lock to prevent this. Um, okay, well, I'll tell you how I, I thought about this clue. I think I have solved it. Father, short synonym for the word father. Well, probably the most common is the word pa, P-A. So, I'm immediately thinking, can I put the word pa in something? And... The word lock also has a very common synonym in Times Crosswords, and that's the uh, that's tress. Now, obviously, I was looking for eight letters here, and I, I, the two short synonyms I've thought of only give me only give me seven letters. But um, it's not too hard to see. Then I can use this apostrophized uh, s there to give us give me one more letter. If I put tress around p a s pars plural. Um, or apostrophized S, then I get trespass. And you can see how this allusion to father putting a lock on a door, for example, would would prevent somebody from trespassing. So not terribly difficult clue, actually, but only because uh, the short synonyms, which are so key to understanding and being able to complete times crossword clues efficiently, are, I suppose, at the tip of my tongue. Let's have a look at these two down now. We've got an R in there. Course not permitted in religious studies. Um, okay, well, again, I'm helped here by two things. Firstly, I see religious studies. Now, that's almost always going to be either RE for religious education or RI for religious instruction. Well, looking at this, I need to put a word in this, so it's very likely this is going to end RE. If it's if it's got an I at the end, it's got to be rabbi, and that one not, doesn't have to be rabbi, but it's likely to be rabbi, and that doesn't seem to fit the rest of it. So now I'm looking for a word that must mean course, that fits this pattern of letters with a word meaning not permitted in the middle of my RE here. Well, not permitted, it's going to be something like off or out. That gives us root, which of course is a course. So again, that would be... At real speed, that would be a very quick answer. Three down. Understanding town's upset about the map being redrawn. Okay. Uh, well, I tell you what, I would probably move on. What I'm thinking of is that the map being redrawn is very clearly an anagram of the letters of D and map. So that gives me six letters then I need to somehow have a town upset around those six letters. So I need, and the tricky thing here is that obviously town, it could be actually a, a proper noun. It could be any of, you know, the zillions of towns uh, that it's probably going to be a, a town in the, in the UK, but that doesn't really narrow it down. And I can't see from the anagram of the map quite what's going on here. The whole thing means understanding. Um, so I would move on. Food allowed in summer month excludes nothing served with cheese. Okay, well, um, what I would be thinking here, I'd just be focusing, to be honest, on the served with cheese part. I'll tell you which, which I think is going to be au gratin, like that. Now, how does the rest of it work? Well, allowed in summer month excludes nothing. Well, I think what's, what this is alluding to, I might be wrong, is your August ration. That, that could cryptically describe the food you were allowed to eat in the month of August, AUG being a very common abbreviation for August, and obviously ration then excluding the zero or the, the O would be, uh, I think, what's going on there. But again, all I'm working from here is the served with cheese part of the clue. So, 10-5, absolute limit, wrongly put in trio sonata. Okay, so this is, again, and even if I hadn't seen the word wrongly here, 
just this phrase, put in trio sonata, is so strange. It doesn't trip off the tongue. It, it looks contrived. So I'd immediately be thinking this is some sort of anagram, and I think we can, we can see quickly that's going to be 15 letters. So we're looking for an absolute limit here that's an anagram of this. Um, uh, and I should be able to see it, but maybe something ratio. Um, but I can't see it quickly enough, so let's move on. Uh, we'll come back to it. So spice fitting this, so you should all be thinking nutmeg immediately. A uh, fanatic turned over excellent specimen. Well, a fanatic is a nut, and an excellent specimen is a gem. And if we turn around the word gem, we get meg, and that gives us the end of the clue. Always remember with these clues, one side of them or the other is almost always the definition. So, you know, we can always, if we're really stuck, we can always just try and turn these crosswords into quick crosswords just by focusing on the beginning or the end of clues. So here again, if we read the word cheese, we look at this construction. Um, I, I'm immediately thinking feta. I haven't read the rest of the clue, but let's see. Lot getting consumed a different way. Um, well, a lot is a fate. Your lot is your fate. And if you, I think what this is saying is that um, consumed is obviously eight, A-T-E is a word that means consumed. But if I anagram uh, that, that word eight, I could come up with E-T-A. So this is a very unusual clue. I'll tell you why. It's because it involves something called an indirect anagram. So rather than giving you the letters that it wants you to anagram, you have to firstly come up with a synonym and then you have to anagram that. Now, a lot of people think that is unfair, um, but I think in the context of this clue where it is, it is a fairly straightforward clue, uh, you know, once and especially when we had the E there, we were immediately thinking of how the answer might work. Um, that's probably why it's been allowed. Um, but normally you won't get indirect anagrams. Expert on land dodgy at moorings. Okay. Well, again, the word dodgy um, should immediately be, you know, triggering an alarm bell to say, can I make, can I anagram anything here? Now, at moorings is 10 letters, so that looks very useful. An expert on land, that's an anagram of at moorings. Pause if you need to, but I think the anagram is an agronomist. <coughs> Let's go back to this one, it's got an M now. Understanding, how about sympathizing? It's gonna be, it's gonna be something like that, isn't it? sympathetic and about that with town being city. So in fact this wasn't a proper name of the town, it was um, it was another form of conurbation really. And whether town and cities are completely synonymous, I think we can uh, we can forgive. But the um, you can see there we've got the anagram of the map in the middle of the reversal of city. Let's try 14 across. Lean on women's organization. Well I tell you I'm immediately thinking of WI here, um, Women's Institute, uh, quietly to produce what's hoped for. Well, I haven't solved this yet, but I can see I can put WI here. And quietly, well, that's very often shh, as in to shush somebody. Uh, to do something more quietly, you might shush them. So that would give us this sort of construction. So lean on to produce what's hoped for. Um, hmm. Should be able to solve that. Can't. Satisfied about article. Well, can we think of a short word that means satisfied that would that can, that can go around something else? Well, because article can be the indefinite article, i.e. the letter A. Um, satisfied, three letters ending in T. Well, it's got to be met. Put that around A, you get meat, and that's certainly an essential material, the meat of something. So that looks like it's the right answer. What I do now, I probably should have a quick look at 15 down. Initial repetition, not all repetition. 
Well, I'm thinking of iteration here. Um, initial repetition. No, I'm not quite sure I understand that, so I would move on. I probably wouldn't even put it in, as I, I really don't get it. Strangely, so the moment I re read the word strangely here, I'm thinking, is there an anagram? No opening for cricket players getting out too often. Whew. No, I don't know that, and I'm, I'm, you know, once I see the no opening for cricket players, I would probably be abandoning the thought that this is an anagram because I can't really see how to get. Oh no, I can. It's very clever wording here. If we um, if we read the word no, and then the opening for the word cricket is a C. So N O plus C plus players would give me ten letters, and then getting out too often. Well. Ah, I can't quite see what the anagram resolves to, but that is going to be an anagram after all. Um, let's put 16 down. French bread, well that's pan, isn't it? The French translation of the word bread. I used when going about northern Italian sandwiches. Uh, no, I don't know that one. Ten across. Theatre award. Involving a literary key. Um, okay, well, I was running through theatre awards there. I think Tony's are theatre awards in the in the US. So if if we go with that, if we think we've got to put the word Tony around something, well we've got the letter A there. Now remember that there should be no superfluous words in a good clue. So if we if we were to rewrite this clue as theatre award involving literary key, you can see how the, the substance of the clue doesn't change at all. It reads the same way. So the reason this A is here must be because it's important. And in this case, because it forms part of the word play, we can very confidently actually just think it must be in there as, 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 as a letter. Now literary can be abbreviated to lit, as in, in the literature, chick lit, that sort of thing. And that would enable me to construct the word tonality, which is a word that means key. So I think that's that's what we're looking for there. Let's just go back to this. Uh, oh, this was the anagram, wasn't it? Um, is so silly. Absolute limit is the saturation point. Ah, that's why I can't solve it. So that tells me that this clue must begin with wish, I think. So W I C H lean, I need well lead to lean is to list, as in to tilt over. Um, so, and to produce what's hoped for, that's your wish list. Those of us who are on Amazon a lot will know exactly what that's about. So, seven down. Fuel line is operating at first after setup. Okay. Well, if we take the first letters of the words line is and operating, because we have to look at them at first, we would get L, I, and O. And if we set those upwards, reverse them, this is a down clue, so if we set things up uh, in a down clue, we, we can reverse them. Then we get oil, which of course is a fuel. Uh, so look at this. Ring not new, bloke disheartened, girl. Um, okay, well... I have solved that, and the way to solve that is to focus on just two words of the clue. Bloke disheartened. Well, if you remove the heart of the word bloke, you would get 
the letters B E. And now, if we think about it, that the, the reason the B E goes at the end is you can see if I put them at the beginning, you know, there's no word or there's no usual word that's going to fit this construction. So the B E must go at the end. Now, once the B E goes at the end, that tells us which side of the clue is the definition. It's got to be the word. It's got to be girl. So I'm looking for a girl's name that fits this pattern, and all of a sudden it becomes solvable. It must be Phoebe, and now we can see what ring not new means. It means phone without the, the N. N can be an abbreviation for the word new. So French bread I used when going about... Ah, oh, panini is an Italian sandwich, isn't it? Or, so how's that working then? I'm just trying to understand. I thought P A I N was the. Oh, I see. So it is. It's P A I N, which is the French translation of the word um, bread, followed by this I here, the I used, and that's all going around an N for northern which allows us to put the N in this position, and that gives us Panini, which is what we're after. Biblical seductress, well, how about Bathsheba? That must be the answer. Has sneakily to ensnare Hebrew after flutter of eyelid. Jeepers. Um, I can never, also, one of the things you have to be careful of is things that you think you can spell, sometimes you misremember, and I seem to remember in the past, I would, it might be Bathsheba, so I need to be careful here. Yes, a flutter of an eyelid is a bat, so it is bat. So it's bat followed by uh, Hebrew, it must be H E B, that's an abbreviation for Hebrew, and has sneakily is an anagram of the word has, so we've got anagram of the word has around heb after bat. So three fairly complicated pieces of wordplay to give us our biblical seductress there. Let's see if we can get this. Comedian, avoiding limits of strident mockery. Mm. Um, so what I'm thinking here is I'm looking for a six letter word which is going to be the name of a comedian. Uh, I was first thought was satirist, there's obviously too many letters. Um, I'm going to remove the S and the T, which are the sort of the outside letters of the word strident, the limits of the word strident, um, from this six letter word, and I will get a word that means mockery. The problem here is I can't think of a word that means mockery that fits here, so let's see if we can get 13 down. Officer left, not entirely keen about united in group of teams. Officer, Major General. Um, major is interesting as a thought there because that was mockery. Could jeer be a word that means mockery? Um, jester could be a comedian. Yeah, okay. So that is right. I mean, it's a mockery, it's a jeer. I'm not sure I think of jeer and mockery as being completely synonymous, but it must be right. So that does suggest we're looking at major here. Left not entirely keen about united in group of teams, goodness me. There's a lot going on here um, and I'm not seeing how to resolve it so let's come back to it. After switching components, escape, epidemic. Um, well, I think it's going to mean epidemic, and I think it's going to be a word that means escape, like run away, in which I will reverse the order. So if there was a word, if there was a word away run, for example, that's what I think is going on here. So we need to think of a word, I think that's a word that means escape. Um, some, probably something... It's, breakout. How about that? That would be an escape. Reverse the order. So I was on the right lines, I just didn't have, my brain wasn't quick enough to think of how it would work. 
took a couple of minutes. Uh, don't go and stop some cricket. Okay, well, so if you see words like some cricket, you know, it's always a reference to an over. So that suggests that. Don't go, well, that sounds like stay over, doesn't it? If you stop somebody, you stay them. So stay over is going to be the answer there. Fancy a grand change will come about. Well, I'm helped here by the V because, and, and also knowing that G can be an abbreviation for grand. Um, so I know I'm putting AG here in the middle of a four letter word that means change. And you can only think of one beginning with V and that's vary. And a vagary is a fancy. So not, again, I'm helped by experience there. Reduced opportunity to get Central America spice. Well, I'm immediately thinking of tarragon. No idea how the rest of it's working, but let's let's see if we can work out why it's tarragon. Central America. Reduced opportunity. Ah. Maybe it's not tarragon. Maybe it's turmeric or something. That one that would that at least would have some central letters from the word America in it. Um, America. A reduced opportunity. It's a term an opportunity. So all I'm thinking here is I've got Merrick, which are the central letters of the word America, at the end of a reduced opportunity. So I'm looking for a four-letter word, which means an opportunity. I guess you put your turn is your opportunity. Um, and that gives a spice. So I really love it, but I think it's probably right. Exclamation over trap, taking tail off. Dog. Well, I'm, I'm thinking this is the name of a dog that fits this pattern, so I want this to be Corgi. An exclamation, if you say core, that's certainly an exclamation. And an old word for a trap is a gin, G-I-N. So if I take the tail off that, I get G-I, and that gives us the construction for, for Corgi. So go for fine work on metal. Go for no fine. But if you go for something, you fetch it. If that doesn't have an F, which is a valid abbreviation for the word fine, I would get etch. And that's certainly something where you'd work on metal. So it's this Major League group of teams then. American reference, Major League Baseball, etc. Uh, so left, not entirely keen, is eager, uh, without the R. That surrounds the U for United, and that gives us what we need. So now we're left with... So we put this one. Oh, this was that anagram, wasn't it? Getting out too often. Something. No. Uh, let's try this one ending in I. Finally, you will tuck into fish in foremost of Italian pasta. Okay. Finally, you fish linguini. It's amazing how often the word fish results in ling in, in crosswords. I think it's because ling is, you know, appears in so many words, normally at the end, but here at the beginning. So here you've got finally you. Well, that's, that's indicating the last letter of the word you. See, that's this you here. That's getting tucked into fish, ling, in. That's just the plain in here. And the foremost letter of the word Italian, the I. And whole thing obviously being pasta. And now let's see this we can use this G bit of latex taken from blue tree. Um, okay, well, if we think of a four-letter word that means blue, and we remove a bit of latex from it, well a bit of latex, very often bit of indicates the first letter, uh, i.e. one of the letters, but most usually it's the first letter. Uh, so we need a four-letter word that means blue, remove an L from it, and we should be able to come up with a name of a tree. I think it's glum. 
essence in article recalled acronymy. Essence in article recalled acronymy. And, um, no. Acronymy. Animus or something like that. I'm wondering about. Let's just put that in. Animus. It's essence sum here. S U M. You can see if we reverse S U M I N this in and an article again. It's the indefinite article, the A here. If we re reverse that string, we would get animus, which is a word which means acrimony. So I think that's what this is getting at. Let's see if that corresponds with twenty down. Fixes to tour U S city and Midwest feature. Well. Uh, when you see US city in a crossword clue, you always need to be thinking of either LA or NY, i.e. Los Angeles or New York. Now, in this series of letters here, it looks much more likely it's going to be that. And once you have this, the clue becomes solvable. So I'm now looking for a Midwest feature that fits this, and that looks like planes to me. And that, so you can see pins here for fixes, so that looks nice. So finally, we're looking probably at iteration and then this anagram, which is NO. I'll just put the letters in so I can see them. Sometimes I find that helps. And uh, players as well. So, so it's an anagram of that string of letters. Um, getting out too often. Narcolepsy. Wow. It wasn't actually that easy to see that. Um, so if you fall asleep in front of the telly all the time, like me, I'm often accused of having narcolepsy. Um, so this does look like iteration still, doesn't it? I don't have to think about why, but I would submit this. Um, and hopefully it'll be right. And there we go. So that's how to do the times crossword um, at a sort of stately pace. Okay, so now let's what were the ones there was I need to think about fifteen down. Initial repetition, not repetition. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is alliteration, isn't it? So if you alliterate, you repeat the initial letters of something. And if so if we take the word alliteration remove the ALL -L from the start, we get the word iteration, which uh, actually that's a lovely clue. Uh, I, I, I should have appreciated that more quickly. Um, so as I say, this was um, this I wanted to do a slower video, uh, partly in response to Mark's, uh, Mark's ridiculous time yesterday, but also because it's been requested a few times on the channel that we, we do one of these slow videos occasionally. So I hope it's useful. Please do leave feedback. Please do subscribe to the channel um, if you enjoy the content, and we'll see you again soon on Cracking the Cryptic.